easiest way to think of me is I'm your own brand to Siemens. Siemens is a very big company. The last I looked, it was about 100 billion US dollar. So um, if you have a technology that Siemens, you think Siemens should be interested or might be interested in, it would be very difficult for you to go find out who you should talk to. So we're here really for you. What I'm going to do now is just to go through to talk about how you can work with Siemens. So by the way, I'm based in uh, Berkeley, as you can see the all famous uh, Golden Gate Bridge. So some of you might think Siemens, huge company, were probably these days not known for innovation. But remember that all big companies have their roots in innovation, and so is um, the case with uh, Siemens. So Siemens started uh, in a small Berlin workshop, and now it's grown to 100 billion. We call Google, we call Apple. So. You know, as companies get bigger, we have a lot more, um, some might call bureaucracy, we call it processes. Um, and it becomes difficult to do um, things. And we recognize that. We also recognize that, quite honestly, not all smart people work for Siemens. So we're here to engage smart people all over the world so that together we can bring technology to market. So uh, TTB is uh, technology to business, and we basically do open innovation and fund um, startups. So how do we work? Um, we're not very particular about where good ideas come from. We believe that it can come from university, it can come from some guys or gals in a garage, it can come from anywhere. What we do is we um, talk, I mean, we come to forums like this, we go to university, talk to professor, and from university to research lab, entrepreneur startups, we talk to them, understand what their technology is, and we also do a lot of what I call community service. We do a lot of coaching for startups. Actually, every year we run a new uh, ventures forum where we invite uh, startups to come, all expenses paid to Berkeley, and we coach them on how to best position their technology um, to sell to Siemens or any other customer you, you want. So we have uh, multiple locations, one in Berkeley, one in Shanghai, and we also have a new center set up in um, Europe. So. You know, you're probably thinking, well, if you work with Siemens, is Siemens going to steal all your ideas? Um, and the answer is no. Um, we have many different ways that we work with uh, startup. We can make um, what we call, you know, basically seed investment. We typically um, operate more like angel rather than uh, venture capital. Siemens also has a um, classic corporate uh, venture capital. Um, and we would do, you know, series, um, I think they tend to do series B, C round. Um, we tend to go in pre-A. Our, our preference is basically, um, you know, I call it two guys in the garage. It's the best way um, you can work with us. We do very, very early stage because we tend not to fund more than uh, half a million dollars in any startup, at least at the beginning. And then, of course, we'll follow on if needed. Um, so that's the seed investment, that's how we operate. You know, the classic venture capital, and my advice to startup is, if all you need is money, don't come to Siemens. You should come to Siemens if you believe that there's something more that we can offer. The second way we work with um, um, innovator is basically we work with professor. They have very interesting idea, like Dr. Gart here. And we would um, basically license their technology, typically also hire their postdoc or graduate student. I've actually done a project like that where I license the technology, hire the graduate student, and then start doing the internal development. Now you ask, why do TTB, which is we're part of the corporate technology, the, what traditionally people call uh, central research lab, we're part of that team. The only difference is I am not allowed to come up with smart ideas. I have the kernel of innovation has to be external. We do what is called open innovation. 
And typically, if you look at an idea and what it would take for a businessman to make a decision to put in the next million dollar investment that is needed to take this technology to market, usually what you have and what they need to see, there's a gap. So that's what we find. We find to lower the risk of the technology to build it to a, to a state where a division can say, oh yeah, I believe you now. I can see the possibility. Because a lot of time, what you're selling is PowerPoint and a really clunky prototype that uses or um, have you, one have to use a lot of imagination to, to think of the possibility. I like to tell people, you know, I just watched The Hunger Games. And I like to say, you know, a lot of business um, division operate based on fear. Fear of competitor, fear of market sh share loss, fear of all kinds of stuff. But I, I dwell in hope. So I sell my division hope rather than fear. So that's what I do. So that's the second way innovator basically hire smart people and fund the gap so that people can make decisions about commercializing the technology. The third way we operate is basically what I call a joint development agreement, contract or licenses. So you are a startup, you have something that looks very interesting. And um, you can see how you could play with Siemens. Um, the division looks at it and say, yeah, but it's not, it doesn't operate on my platform. It can't talk to the stuff that I wanted to talk to. You know, like, you know, C, you know, Siemens things tend to start with SI, like C motion, cinematic, you know, see something. So you got to go talk to the see something. And your stuff cannot talk to that see something. So what we would do is we would fund, um, usually the startup, pay the NRE, get you to build the stuff so that we can talk to our um, whatever, see whatever that we need, need to talk to. And usually this is a joint development agreement. And at the end, if the decision is to go ahead and collaborate with you, then we will do a commercial license agreement with the division. So there are some examples here of how it operates. So in summary, we're all about innovation. And I just want to point your attention to the, the last bullet. If you want to know more about what Siemens does, please come join us at 11 a.m. today in the Santa Rosa room. Thank you.